Brooklyn Independent Television. Welcome to Brooklyn Review. I'm Brian Vines. According to the State Department, by the end of this year, America's Muslim population is expected to surpass the Jewish population, making Islam the country's second largest faith after Christianity. The proposed Islamic Cultural Center and Mosque in Lower Manhattan sparked controversy and became a national issue this election cycle. And here in Brooklyn, plans to build a mosque in Sheepshead Bay were met with angry protest. With all of the headlines, it's easy to overlook the fact that Brooklyn is already home to several mosques, and Fred Brown is at one of Brooklyn's oldest. This past summer, in Sheepshead Bay, a group of residents there staged a protest against the building of an Islamic mosque in their neighborhood. There's a lot of Muslim people too. They want to enjoy, you know, the community. They want to enjoy their kids growing up in this community, having, you know, peace with everybody else. They go to public school. All Muslim kids here, they go to BS 52 in the same area. With the other teachers, you know, they complaining about this mosque. So I don't understand. They teach the kids races or what? You know, it makes no sense. It's just not a place to build a religious institution because it's just going to be too much traffic. There's no place to park. It's, um, it's a, you know, it's just going to be um, a quality of life issue. <laughs> Here at Masjid Atakwa at the corner of Bedford and Fulton Streets in Brooklyn, the doors of the mosque are about to be opened so that people can see for themselves truth versus fiction. And on the inside of the mosque, it felt more like a local town meeting where people ask questions and the speaker answered. So much. The question is, if our parents are not Muslim, not believers, and they die, can we make prayer for them? According to our religion, we are prohibited. If your parent is not only a disbeliever, but disrespectful of your religion now, how far does the respect between parents be go? Be patient, be patient, be patient, be patient. The purpose of the event is to open the masjids or mass, you know, to the non-Muslims. Uh, to it's it's an outreach program. In all the in other words, we, we want to uh, interact and interconnect with the community. We've been opening up our houses, you know, for years. There's the idea now that people don't want mass or masjids in their neighborhood. We figured that this is the, the prime time. This is an applicable time, you know, to reach out to the people to let them know that look, you know, their position is unwarranted. You know, we're not here to harm anybody. Masjids and Muslims are here to, to have a positive input. Input that's apparently had a positive effect on this bed community over the past 30 years. And if we do it in the best, the best manner, because I'm Catholic, but I like to learn about different cultures. You know, you can't just judge a person by his cover. You know, you got to come and you got to sit down and, and talk to the person. I hope other religions should be able to participate in a way how they are. And we shouldn't just stereotype. We should all come as a community and get to know one another. God's last word to humanity, get your free copy of the Quran. So why an open house? Well, the open house is open. You know, many people walk past here um, and they have some, a lot of misconceptions about Islam. I even remember going, I was going to prayer one day and some young, young girls were walking by the masjid and they, 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 I heard, overheard them. They said something like, ooh, ooh it's scary in there. I said, well, why do you think it's scary? You know, like, um, it's, it's open, it's, it's wide open. I said, I said, I know some other kind of venues that seem a lot more scary than the masjid. I'm saying, there's no statues, there's no, you know, there's no lit candles, just, everything is bright, it's lit up. And, uh, but it's just a misconception that people have about Islam, you know. Um, so the house is open for people who have any kind of questions about Islam to come in and, and ask the questions that, that you may have had and that you, sh 
most people probably do have. It's, the thing is, is that when they talk to me, I said, I, you taking me through the same thing I had to go through uh, crow times and, and civil rights and segregation. You know, I couldn't change my color. You attacked me before because of color. It had no, no, no other reason. It's illogical, it's unreasonable, you know, because you don't understand my religion. So we're saying, come, come and understand my religion. Fred Brown. Become a fan on Facebook, like Brooklyn Independent Television.